Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about enamel, specifically about buying enamel for your torch-fired enamel projects. There are two types of enamel that you cannot get away without buying, and one of them is 1030 Foundation White. Foundation white will produce a blank white canvas like the one on this test tile that will enable you to build on top of with transparent color and let them be their most vibrant. The other is a clear fusing enamel or flux specifically for silver, a 2020. This is great. It will work with copper, but what it will also do for you is it will create a barrier between the silver and the transparent enamel that you want to apply to that silver. If silver comes into contact with most transparent enamels, there's a chemical reaction that causes them to either darken or turn black completely. So you want to have that 2020 available to you. If you look down here, I've made a little button. And this button is an area that's been coated with the 2020 clear and I've applied a piece of silver foil to the middle of that clear area and then covered it again with the 2020. The area outside of that is basically a raw copper area. And if you look at the tops of these containers over here containing the transparent enamel, you can see that when I sift on top of it, I can instantly have an idea of what that color is going to look like on top of copper that's been coated with a clear flux, on top of silver that's been coated with a clear flux, and on top of raw copper. Remember, these glass colors work best on copper, silver, and gold. So if you wanted to, you could also get a gold foil and create buttons that actually even have a little bit of gold in them so you could see what the colors are going to look like on top of gold. Okay, let's talk palette you can choose whatever palette you want. Now, certain colors are going to cost more than others. The ones that are made from things like gold or silver are of course going to be more expensive. But, you, you're going to want a few of those more pricey colors to spice up your items. Choosing a palette is really important. You could look at a painting and pick the most significant colors from that painting for your palette. Or you could go online and do a little research and find out what colors are trending for a particular season. Either way, you need to have some idea of where you're going with your color palette so that you're making projects that have a nice appeal to them. On this sampler, I have illustrated opaques going in a vertical direction and transparents going horizontally. Now the colors that I have in front of me are the 2850, which is this bright orange color here, and the 2680, which is this darker blue here. Now if you look, I have this bright, bright flame red 1880 running down front here, and this mid kind of robin's egg or sky blue color, the 1610 running here, and the ultramarine blue running right here. So I've got the opaques as a basis, and then I have the transparents running across them. So in other words, if I were to make a piece, let's say, with this sky blue as the foundation or the base, not the white, I could come to this chart and I could quickly see what the Prussian blue looks like on top of that color. Now, you're never going to be able to blend these colors by mixing them together. You just get a speckled mess. So you're going to have to use specific colors in the places where you want just that color to appear. And making a sample tile like this will save you hours of work and lots of disappointment because you'll know exactly where you're headed. I hope this information helps you out. If it does, be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always check us out on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Thanks for watching.